what morals do you hold to be beautiful? Treating people like you want to be treated. That's first and foremost. Uh, I try to always look people in the eye, speak to them, and not um, just be, be a good person, be nice. I think that's the biggest moral. Thank you. With designing for multi-platinum selling artists like Destiny's Child, there were young girls, there were teenagers, even women trying to emulate those same styles. And to know that you were the reason for it, how does that make you feel? It makes me feel really good. I just feel, I mean, I, I'm so blessed because I got to do what I really like to do and for a lot of people to see it. That was, I, I never dreamed I'd be doing it. So it was really, really a blessing. Christina, you talked about balancing career and family at the same time. Now, family is first and with us, you know, nearly uh, about to graduate college and our careers are just going to kick off. How do we find that time to balance to even start a family because we may just begin right after right. college. Well I think that you have to plan and um, you know work on your career first. Um, someone told me early on uh, when I opened my hair salon they were like build your business first and um, so I think that it's a it's, a, it's all about timing and planning and you know when you start a family that you want to be able to have the time to devote and it's about, I talked earlier about just sacrificing because a lot of my time with my kids was, you know, I, I sacrificed things that I might have wanted to do. But, you know, they grow up really fast. And so you, you do get the opportunity to do the things you want to do. How for you, because you've come so far, how did you conquer any fear that you, you had? Well, I, I always tried to be prepared for whatever I did, but Sometimes I wasn't prepared and I wasn't um, exactly, you know, I, I didn't have the advantage that you guys have to have a college education. Uh, so I had a lot of things to overcome, but I just always, you know, just was really positive that and just talked to myself. Even before I came out today, I'm like, I'm scared to death, but I talked to myself and I, you know, and I just have a great faith in, in God and I, I don't know what you guys faith is but you got to have faith in, in a higher power because it helps get you through a lot of things. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Hi Miss Tina, I'm Crystal Marshall, broadcast journalism major at University of Houston. I just want to congratulate you on all of your success. Hi Tina Knowles, it's Christy Rodriguez, a broadcast journalism student here at U of H. Just want to let you know you're a big inspiration and I love your clothes. Hello Miss Tina, I'm Brenda Rojo, a student at the University of Houston and a business major and I love that you're inspiring girls to open up their own businesses and become entrepreneurs. Hi Miss Tina, I'm Quantanique White and I'm a broadcast journalism major at University of Houston, graduating in December and I just love everything that you do. Keep God first and you're going to go far and if you ever need a mom, let me know, I'm your girl. Hey Miss Tina, I'm Monica Grimaldo, a broadcast journalism major here at the University of Houston. I'm wearing one of your dresses and I do feel absolutely gorgeous.